Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to do a comparison video between the two most commonly used brushes and these are the the bristle flat brush and the uh, fan brush and I'm going to do the comparison between which one is better on painting the tree leaves so I have here on my canvas I have two trees which have no leaves and I'm gonna um, paint leaves and which one will be better than the other one on or which one do best in doing this kind of um, stuff or this kind of painting the leaves okay so I will use the same colors and which one will be good for you or which one will be um, better than the other one of painting this kind of um, leaves okay so I'm gonna do first the the flat brush this is a flat bristle, bristle brush and it has a new uh, it is a new brush okay actually um, when you use um, older brushes old, older flat, flat brush um, it has a bitter bristle this one but since we are comparing two new brushes we need um, we need also uh, the new flat brush okay so we need to dip first into the water to make it a little wet and we need to mix first a darker color here you have the yellow and the blue and the red red will make the color darker I'm gonna put some more blue color and red here and some yellow then add a little water on it okay so we're gonna put some under painting for this one using the flat bristle brush which do you think is better the flat brush or the bristle brush I'm not sure yet but I usually use this uh, flat brush compared to the um, fun brush I commonly use this one the reason why um, I commonly use this uh, flat brush because um, when I was starting painting I cannot I do not know where to put, to buy the the fun uh, the fun brush. That's why I mostly use the the flat brush because it can be easily found in our market. There, I'm gonna add more darker green color with red to make it dark. I'm gonna make this part a little thicker and also the top part I'm gonna make this part thicker there. And also here. okay now we're gonna start adding some highlights I'm gonna use more yellow here and of course some white 
dip into the water then I'm gonna put it on the top left side okay just use the topping technique and also here just 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 put it on the top of the dark colors that's how we're gonna do it and do not overdo it always remember that okay so that's it so you have now the that the leaves using this um, flat uh, brush it's a flat bristle brush it has a white bristle and also we need to also use this one in painting some leaves and uh, no, some grasses there I just put it directly that's it you can also create some um, bushes like this using this flat brush just use it in the any direction like this there okay and here there so I think that looks nice that's wonderful now it's time for the fun brush and I'm going to use this I'm going to dip it into the water and the span brush the brand is Maurice and we're gonna mix for a darker color darker greens here with some yellow of course and red red will make the color darker dip the brush into the water just dip the tip there and let's start painting it it has a different texture compared to the flat brush but I think the flat brush um, is easier to use especially the fan brush has bigger bristle um, but actually you can create um, better acacia leaves on this um, fun brush there I'm gonna make it thicker compared Actually, it's really hard to mix using this. I was using the fun brush. I'm going. I'm gonna do my best to make it uh, look like the other one. To make this look like the other one. And also, this part should be thicker. I'm gonna add some dark umber make it darker yeah, it's the same thick um, dark that I used before uh, on the other one but this one I just used the rumba to, to do the shortcut what I actually like with this fun brush 
is that it has a smoother effect on the lips. You can create um, finer lips using the fan brush compared to the flat brush. Okay, I think I like this one. There. Now I'm gonna put some highlights. I'm gonna use directly the yellow and some white here. There. And just put it on the top because the light is coming from the top part. It looks like um, the time is on 12 noon. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna add some white and yellow. This is the topping of punching technique. What I like the on the fan brush is that you can create a curvy effect directly. Compared to the compared to the 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 flat brush, you need to do it yourself. Where the well the while the the fan brush you need uh, it is its nature because of the flat surface here and when you press it it will become a little curve on the surface of the canvas then the effect will be curved something like this so you don't need to to, to apply it um, a little round something like that I'm not sure what, how we can say it okay here Okay. And for the last part will be the 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 grasses. So we're gonna use this one to create the grasses. I think this one is better using compared to the flat brush it has a smoother effect and of course I'm going to put the darker colors first the last one will be the the bushes with which has a, a longer growth of leaves I'm not sure I'm gonna say it here just have to watch it so. okay so I think I'm done yeah so let's try to explain I'm gonna remove the center and cover okay so that's it so my conclusion between these two brushes they are both great honestly they are both great actually you can create a round rounded um, leaves or bigger leaves using the the flat brush when you compare this one this, this the leaves here compared to this one this one is way bigger than this one and you can also actually make this um, bigger using the uh, you just have to press the tip of the brush harder and you can create a um, bigger growth of leaves when you use the flat brush, flat bristle brush, compared to the to the fan brush, it's hard to create a bigger leaf because of this the nature of the of the of the tip or the bristle. So it is very very flat, and you just have to create this kind of leaves when you use the fan brush. So my conclusion, um, which one would be better than the other one? When it comes to um, its um, multi-purpose. I think the flat brush is better than the fan brush because you can create the same technique, the same effect with the fan brush and you can also create um, other effects like painting uh, bigger kind of leaves like this one here and also and you can also create bigger than bigger than this one so I think 
it's better but when it comes to um, a more beautiful look like um, this kind of um, like trees have smaller smaller um, tree leaves I think the farm brush is way better than the than the flat brush so, because when you compare this one it, this one has very uh, as a as a sofer um, leaves compared to the to the flat brush and I think this one is better when you compare the, the two this one is better and also when you uh, create the the call this the, the grasses the fan brush can create smoother effect compared to the flat brush and also this effect also is a good better so I think overall when it comes to the single purpose fan brush is better way better than the flat brush okay so but um the when you use the older the older flat brush like I have here I, I use mostly on my tutorial I need to find it where is it okay so I need, I'm gonna need to find it okay okay this one so here I have the an old an old what they call this an old flat brush brittle flat brush and it has a better bristle compared to the new ones which is this one so this one has a good bristle compared to the new one so if you have an old flat brush do not throw it away actually the older it gets the better the result when it comes to the tree leaves so to not throw it away we're gonna try this one also see I, I like this one compared to the new to the new uh, flat brush flat bristle brush it has a um, natural uh, natural bristle white bristle yeah I like I, I like it compared to the new one so if you have a new an, an old flat um, bristle flat but do not throw it away okay so that's it so I, I think I am done with my simple comparison today and I hope you get something out of this I hope you can choose between the two which one you're gonna use in your painting especially in the three leaves so both are good both are good brushes and I recommend that you need to use the two brushes not just the other one actually um, flat brushes have more use than the fan brush so but um, I'm not closing that one um, I, re I also recommend you to use the fan brush because it has a really good really good effect when you paint the tree, uh, the tree leaves okay thanks everyone for watching this video today I hope you get something out of this and you learn something out of this tutorial thank you please hit like add some comments subscribe for videos in the future and I say thank thanks again have a nice day and God bless you all all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord